In today's test show, we do. I'm gonna take a look at the games with the Ian 77 absolutely incredible ones in the one million dollar Clash Royale League monthly final. In case you guys enjoy this type of content, want to see more of the Pro vs Pro gameplay, make sure to subscribe and also make sure to use Creator Code more in the shop. And now we're going to dive into that. There was actually the lower bracket, so the loser was out and the winner is in. So this is actually the thing here with Ian 77. So I had to win this one. I mean, the best of three, basically, in the duels format. So you can't repeat cards. You guys know it if you like following the channel and the competitive format in Ashrael. So you're just going to see him on the left hand, uh, left hand side. You're going to see me here on the right hand side. So two Mortons versus one Ian. This already gives me an advantage. So I'm just going to go for my Nightwitch here in the back. I'm actually using a deck which I'm showcasing on YouTube. So... I'm showcasing decks which are pretty good in Clash Royale. Oh, this is a surprise. So look at this. So I, he went really aggressive and I knew that. So I'm just going to go Giant there immediately at the bridge. And this was a really smart Giant because this Giant is going to do a great job there. I know I still am still able to get a little Prince out. He's low on Elixir. He doesn't have Axie. So it would be really hard for him to stop. Also, look at Elixir, right? So he's going to go for Soul Tornado. But look at my... Look at my LP there. And now I, I knew he only had Skeletons. And this is the perfect zap timing, perfect defense tower down. And this is like the first woohoo! Booyah, guys! That was the first big, big, big thing for Morton Real. So, Ian just goes for this. I'm just gonna let this go. And now I'm just gonna go, I will say, easily cleaning this up. And I think I'm even gonna go for the pump now just to make sure. Okay. There are two options for him to ignore the pump and go for like poison offense. This means, okay, I'm gonna be able to get an elixir advantage, which makes it easier for me to defend, or forcing on the poison, which is a plus one elixir trade for me, and also allows us to save one poison from the um, actually weaker side in our towers, right? Since he kind of wants to use the poison on the left side, but he's not gonna decide to poison it, so it means we're gonna have like a ton of elixir to defend. So, Phoenix, of course, in this type of matchup, this type of situation is really nice. Just play it directly on top of the Axie here. Yeah. I'm just gonna go for my LP, I'm just gonna go for my bomber. And I think I'm still gonna use my arrows just to make sure that we are not really need to do anything there. So my little prince is gonna go onto the right hand side. I still have this on the board. So I'm just gonna use my ability to just force out something axe. I'm just gonna go for my knife. He has to go tornado. And I think I'm just gonna go giant there. Do I even go giant? I'm just gonna go giant to bait to bait out something, right? I just wanna bait out something. This is exactly what we're gonna do, and this is exactly what is gonna work out. So he's gonna go for this, but by look at my bomber, bro. My bomber will still completely counter this. Really good timing, and his tower isn't recharged. So we're gonna be able to get like a ton of value there. We still have the pump advantage, so it's time for another night bridge, and we're gonna be able to take game number one with Ian 77. So we're one game away from clinching the spot and also securing a top four in the world finish in this month, which would be absolutely incredible. I think also like a big money difference, like 1.5k, I think. So this would be big. You guys are gonna see my face, and now we're going into game number two. So, guys, going to game number two here. We are facing off Ian again. Yo, what a surprise. But Ian actually uses this interesting deck there with the um lp with the ghost so it wasn't true could be bridge could be warrior giant a ton of different variation i'm actually using a really really classic e giant deck and he pressures right hand side which is pretty smart because he actually knew that i had to commit like a tornado on the right hand side which i'm not gonna do right i'm not gonna use a tornado he gets like a ton of ig shots um i'm just gonna go now nato his fisherman maybe Honestly, I should have nado the defense. Maybe I should have nado the royal giant. Like, to be fair, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not the best player in the entire world. I'm not the goat himself. I'm a guy who still does mistakes. And I'm still sometimes not sure if that was good, if that was bad. But man. So, by the way, airports are so broken, bro. Apple, please give me a sponsorship for this channel. I'm also looking really tired. I was, like, playing Brawl Stars. It's currently 6 a.m. I was playing Brawl Stars until 6 a.m. in the morning. Pushing my Frank to a 1k trophy. So in case you were playing Brawlers, let me know if you guys kind of <laughs> get safe about it. Frank is pretty shit. But yeah, maybe I'm also doing one Brawlers video just like as a fun mode. Just like here and there maybe. Just to kind of see how it goes. Just for fun. In case like you guys want to see it. So let me know if you guys want to see a Brawlers video just for fun. And let like see Morton Real brawling. Um... But yeah, I'm actually, like, this was <laughs> this is so cool that I'm, like, currently pushing my Frank to the 1k trophies. And yeah, I played, like, 7 hours of Brawl Stars after the monthly finals. So, the Phoenix is gonna be, like, gonna pop off. The Mega Man is gonna be able to kill the Egg there. So, he's just gonna go for his little Prince. And this was, like, actually really, like, thing. I think the Royal Giant, uh, the, the E Giant here was pretty aggressive. The E Giant was really, really bad. That was way too aggressive. I don't know, like, how he got so much Elixir. I was actually really surprised that he got, like, RG down and so on. But it was so bad. That was way too aggressive and also at the same time my um, 
the timing of my tornado was pretty bad because my troops still got like he still got shot and my troops got, still got pushed back so really bad timing really bad situation and now we're in a damage disadvantage so he goes in my grand front warrior giant i'm just gonna go for a knight there i'm also gonna go for my cage I'm like thinking maybe preventing all the damage, but no, AG still gets a shot, which is really unfortunate, which is really bad, but I need to live with that. So he goes in for this. We are going to go in now for my baller here in the back. I'm just kind of trying like the one time I'm trying to build a, a counter push out of my defensive sequences to destroy him. This is my goal, right? Getting a defense on, maybe have like some tubes surviving, like a Mega Man, maybe a bowler, maybe a Revolution Knight, and then go for an E-Giant and then get a good tornado. But look at this, right? So far, this is not really possible so i'm trying to do like a split lane pressure push which i think was a smart decision there so i'm just gonna go for now my evolution archers he goes in for fireball but yes my e-giant is not really doing anything bro phoenix so annoying royal ghost does a pretty good job there so my e-giant yes it gets a bit of damage but honestly it's nothing big boulder gets one swipe on the right hand side just gonna go for another electric giant here on defense and he decides to go in for another um royal giant. i think his evolution royal giant wasn't the best of all time I think honestly this wasn't the best so this is what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna go now i think for my archers on the left hand side to kill the phoenix and he has to go commit a fireball there which he of course didn't want to commit so we're actually able to get a ton of decent or like a ton of dead chip damage here so i knew it was like at three elixir like really really low so i'm just gonna go for another electric giant here but the electric giant doesn't do really anything he goes in for a bowler now he's most likely gonna go for a tornado i mean for a fisherman here and this is a matchup where i fully felt normally I think the first matchup was, of course, on my side. This was like a matchup where I felt like it maybe looks good on paper. But Electric Giant really doesn't do too much, bro. Like, he got the Phoenix, he got the Bomber, he got the Fisherman, he got the Little Prince. So, I just feel like normally the reflective damage he gets and the chip damage he gets, you kind of get out-chipped, out-classed by the Evolution Bomber. Because Evolution Bomber, he can always play it on top of the cage and so on. So, Evolution Bomber would say, and the Cannon, uh, not the Cannon here, the Prince Peach Tower kind of switches up the matchup a lot. I also feel like, I don't know if you guys agree with me, I personally think it's really hard to now like kind of talk about matchups, how matchup are, because with Broken Evolution, Broken Evolution Bomber, Broken Towers, it's just so random sometimes, bro. It's just so random. Sometimes I don't even know what's happening. So, bro, look at this. How does this Royal Giant, I mean, not how does, does this Royal Giant get on tower, how does this Evolution Bomber get on tower consistently? But it's just doing it. So, it's over. GG's well played. And now it's an Evolution game for both of us. 1-1, one, one, Morton vs. Ian. And now, guys, it's actually time to cook. This deck I'm using here is not a great deck for Lydad. It's not a great deck for challenges. It's also not a great deck for tournaments. But it's a really good deck in the duels format. We need to remember, you can just use card once. So, some stuff is off from Evolution Bombers out. For him, also LP is out. So, Fireball is also out. So, this kind of means, okay, we're using a ton of different cards there. And our deck, like, bro, this deck is crazy cool. I really love playing my deck there. I really enjoy playing this deck. So, I'm just going to go now for my... So, this was a really bad start, bro. So, I'm just going to go for this. He's able to use the ability. So, the problem in this type of situation was that my tower wasn't recharged, right? Like, my tower wasn't recharged. The miner gets a ton of trip. You need to still need to go ghost there. So, it's not like really, 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 really bad. Um, like, we lost the game, right? This tower, my tower is still like pretty healthy. But of course, it wasn't the start I wanted to see. So, Ian here once again going in for a balloon. He lost balloon, bro. You can really tell that. He loves playing balloon cycle. This is what he does. This is what he loves. Um, but yeah, by the way, like, I'm really excited, by the way, that I was, like, able to compete in a Qual 1 through finals. It was a pretty good experience overall. I hope I will be, next, be, there, be there next month. To be fair, I don't really care about winning monthly finals itself. Or, like, doing, I mean, doing all that would be cool. My main goal is to get to Worlds somehow, some way, right? This is the most important thing. So, kind of lucky that the Phoenix, uh, that the uh, Phoenix still stays alive. So, the, the Skate Ranks actually don't die. I'm just going to go for an Argeta because I knew it was really low on Alexa. And this is why I did this. So I'm just gonna go rage. This is a really smart rage, right? I'm just making sure to kill the bomb tower. Also raging up the IG there. And his tower isn't charged, right? His tower isn't charged. So he has to go guards there, which you don't really wanna play against uh, against the IG. So he's gonna give the early good game. I feel like this is what Ian always does. I think we both know it's not good game yet, bro. It's not good game yet. He can still easily win this one. So he is just gonna go in for another balloon there. I'm just gonna go for my really smart ghost here to make sure it's not gonna wall. It's gonna walk. Now I'm just gonna go for this. And this was a really, really good defense here. So I'm just gonna go for another warrior giant here because I know once again he's low on legs. So he has to go bomb tower now. And now he needs to go guards, I think, later. I'm just gonna go for the fisherman. So 
we're just gonna be able to get Kaina back in this game. And I know the most important thing in this matchup is I feel like he had to play the Queen a bit more often, or he has to play the Queen more often because Queen is really annoying because they can't really kill the Fire Relation so on. But like of course the Evolution Tesla is cooking in this deck, bro. Why do you have Evolution Tesla? I don't know. Jules is a madman sometimes. Well sometimes not, but he's a madman, I love him. So just gonna spell cycle a little bit. Evolution Royal Giant is the key, bro. Evolution Royal Giant is really the key, but it's because the Queen gets so much volume. I'm just gonna go Evolution Royal Giant there because I think I can. And also, like, I knew my Skull Drinks will get a ton of volume here. So I'm just gonna go once again for a Rage Sheet. This Rage was horrible, but that was really, really important for me that the Queen got pulled. That was, I feel like if the Queen would have pulled this situation, maybe would have lost already. So. I'm just gonna go for my Skelly Dragons there. I still have a decent amount of counter pressure there with the Fisherman, which was gonna take the Aqua off the Prince Peach Tower. So he still had to commit something, otherwise, the Ghost would have gotten a ton of damage. So, <coughs> I apologize, guys. Um, I'm just gonna go for Pre Evo Tesla. It's kinda good for me that he used an Evolution Zap there. So, I think this is the time I'm just gonna go Royal Giant Nabaki because I feel like I can. And he just goes in for this. I'm just gonna go for a really nice Fisherman. I'm not sure. Do I go Fireball there? I think I'm just gonna take the fireball just to get some extra tower damage and I guess it's fine because he has to like play something now It's gonna get pulled away maybe from the gun. I'm just gonna go for my really good um, Skate rings, which means we're gonna be able to kill this entirely and now I'm just gonna go for my RG aggressive there because his tower is in charge When his tower is in charge, I'm gonna go for an evil RG. This is really really frustrating for him to defend so I'm also gonna go for my rage here just to make sure the RG targets even faster and as you guys can see my RG will be on tower now RG gets one shot RG gets two shots and it might even get three shots and I know fireball rage rage is enough but I also know I need to defend if he has evolution knight and evolution seven cycle this might be tough so it's his last push I'm just gonna go in for this I need to wait until it connects now I'm just gonna go for Tesla really really high and I'm also making sure to defend everything with a really clean fireball. And now I just need to cycle two, two rages, right? No free cuts I kill available, but overall, I wouldn't say like the most expensive of all sides. Just gonna go for a rage there. He goes in balloon defense, he goes on night. Now I'm just gonna go for my scaling, just gonna go for my fisherman here. And now it's time for me to go rage uh, fireball. And now it's time for me to go rage. And I was actually able to beat Ian77. So talk about my like overall experience of the Clash Royale League monthly finals. I lost the first game to Rolex. I think I should have won this one. He played really well. I played pretty poorly, in the, uh, especially in the first and the third game. Then I won against um, 40k ban. I, I won against Ian. Then I lost close. I mean, what means close? I lost 2-1 against Mo. He won at the end, so it's fine. Losing against the defending champion. And it's time for me to move on to the next month. Top four is pretty, really fine overall. Thank you so much for all the support. And yeah, make sure to subscribe. Make sure you use Create a Good Mold in the shop and everything is super sale game. And I'm going to be out. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you guys tomorrow in the next special video.